A popular series on our channel over the years has been our useful website series. I become aware that we didn't make a video last year. To rectify that, we promise to make more useful websites videos in the future. Coming up in this video, I'll show you a dozen websites that are extremely useful in several categories you'll wish you knew about earlier. Hopefully some of these come in handy for you right now or at a later date sometime down the road. With many new viewers to our channel, I'll show you our absolute favorites along with a few never featured in any of our videos. Let's get started. Virus Total is perhaps one of the most useful websites ever created. It's a free service using more than 70 security scanners and URL domain block listing services to detect viruses, malware, and other types of malicious content. No single antivirus or anti-malware software is perfect, so I encourage you to bookmark Virus Total as an extra layer of protection. You have the option to scan a file on your computer, the URL of a website, and the search tab lets you scan a URL, IP address, domain, or file hash file and URL of the two that you'll likely use most often. To check a file on your computer, an example would be after downloading software and prior to installing, make sure that file is selected, then left click and drag that file onto your computer into the window and let go. If all are listed as undetected, that means that none of the security vendors have flagged that file as being malicious. Just note you may run into false positives from time to time. Use your best judgment. Let's go back to the home page. To scan the URL of a website, select URL, and type or paste the web address into the search box. Then hit enter. If you get a result detecting issues with the address you entered, like in this example, it's probably best to avoid going to that site because for one, the full URL looks suspicious and because more than a couple have detected an issue, meaning it's likely not a false positive. If you're like us and support the right to repair movement, I fix it as your friend. In short, Right to Repair advocates that you should be able to repair anything yourself or someone of your choosing and have easy access to the parts, tools, and diagrams. iFixit sells both tools and parts and has free step-by-step -step repair guides. You can enter your product into the search box or select Explore Categories. As you can see, there are several categories to choose from. Select your category. Let's go with phone. Apple, Android, and others are listed. For this example, we'll go with the Apple iPhone. Find your phone in the list and select it. Here's the iPhone 13 Pro. It'll give a brief description of the product. Click Choose Device. Select one of the guides listed. After selecting your guide, it'll show you the difficulty level, the number of steps involved, which with this phone takes 36 steps just to change a battery, and you'll also see the time required and number of sections. Below that, you'll see the tools required to complete the repair, and if they have parts available, they'll list those here as well. After you've gathered the necessary tools and parts, you'll find these step-by-step -step instructions easy to follow, but time-intensive just to replace the parts. Hopefully one day, modular phones that make it easy to swap out parts in seconds become the norm. Pixlr is a photo editor that lets you edit images in your favorite browser without the need to install any software. It's easy to use and great for those of you that don't want to learn a program like Photoshop or GIMP. Best of all, you can use most of the key features for free. It includes thousands of free templates that you can use for resumes, presentations, brochures, and even includes templates to create a YouTube banner. With a single click, there's even a background removal tool to easily erase backgrounds from your pictures. Pixlr has two separate web apps to choose from, Pixlr X and Pixlr E. Pixlr X is for those of you that just want to quickly edit your photos with the absolute basics. There are tools to add text, crop and rotate, and you can easily add effects to enhance your image. Pixlr E is for those of you wanting more advanced tools not found in Pixlr X. For those willing to put in the time, Pixlr E is what you'll want to use if you're trying to create the perfect image. Most people don't read Terms and Service Agreements. We just click Agree and move on. The website Terms of Service Didn't Read does the difficult work of analyzing and summarizing the terms and services and privacy policies of websites and services on the internet. After being analyzed, the terms of service are assigned a grade, with an A grade having the best terms of service, and on the opposite end, an E grade being the worst, with the terms of service raising very serious concerns. On their homepage, you'll see a summary of the terms of service and a grade assigned to some of the most well-known companies. For example, it's no surprise Facebook and Amazon are given an E grade. In their search box, you can do a search of any website or service in their database. As expected, DuckDuckGo has a fantastic Terms of Service and is given an A grade. Let's not pull up a summary of the Terms of Service when signing up for any service with Apple. 
With an E-grade, it's quite obvious that Apple's marketing does not match reality. And in fairness, Microsoft and Google are no better. Ending this segment on a positive note, there's a bipartisan bill that's been introduced that would help to simplify the language used in the terms of service agreements. Websites and services would also have to include a summary statement for users without all the legal jargon. In addition, that summary statement would also have to disclose data breaches with that website or service from the last three years. If you're someone that enjoys reading books, What Should I Read Next is a site you should have bookmarked. It recommends books based on an analysis of their database of real readers to give you suggestions of what you should read next. In the search box, enter the title of a book or an author. I'll go with The Shining, which is a book by Stephen King. Select it. In the new page that opens, it'll list books it thinks you might like based on your search query. Down Detector is a site I keep bookmarked for those times to check a particular service like my cable company, cell provider, streaming service, or any other online service to find out if they're having an outage or some other problem. To use it, just enter the name of the service in the search box. I'll go with Xbox Live. At the top of the page, you'll see the status, which in this case indicates there are no current problems. Below that is a graph of reported issues over the last 24 hours. Looks like yesterday was a bad day. If you scroll down, there's a live outage map that you can click into. And to the right of that, you can see the most reported problems. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can view the comments from other users. If you're subscribed to multiple streaming services like Netflix, Disney+, Prime Video, and many others, Just Watch is useful to find the streaming services with the movies and TV shows that you want to watch. In the search box here in the upper right, type the name of the movie or TV show you're looking for. Let's go with Line of Duty. Select it, then select the season. Let's go find season one. With the best price filter selected, the top row shows you where that content is available from the various streaming services. And in the row below, where you can rent or buy. Just Watch is now available for you to use in dozens of countries. If you're looking for free high quality stock photos and videos for your next project, Pexels is a fantastic resource. They offer hundreds of thousands on their site, which are hand-picked from those uploaded by their users and have sourced from other free image and video sites. After you've found a photo or video that you'd like to download, select the drop-down arrow next to Free Download. If it's a photo, you can select the size of the image, or if it's a video, you can select the video quality. Then click Free Download to save it to your computer. Unlike most free photo and video sites, Pexel's license is straightforward. You can download all images and videos on their site for free for both personal and commercial use with no attribution required. If you're a gamer, How Long to Beat is useful to find out how long it'll take to complete a video game. Whether you have a busy schedule or extra free time, it might be useful to know that information going in, knowing how much time you'll have to commit playing that game. At the top, do a search for your game. Halo Infinite is popular right now. Click into it. According to this, depending on your playstyle, it would take 10 and a half hours to finish the main story and up to 25 and a half hours if you're a completionist. If you scroll down the page, it'll give you additional information regarding the length of time to complete the game that might be helpful. Clean PNG is another great resource for creatives looking for free, high quality, transparent images for their website, brochure, or anything else. At this time, they have more than a million images with no background, all of which are free and no account signup is required. If you're looking for a particular type of image, type it into the search box and hit enter. Click the image that fits your needs. Then to save it to your computer, click free download below the image. If you're someone that doesn't like to waste food or you just don't feel like going to the grocery store, Supercook is a handy recipe search engine that lets you search by ingredients you already have in your pantry or fridge. To use it, select the ingredients you already have in your home on the left. Let's go with garlic, butter, sour cream, scroll down the list, flour, sugar, banana, scroll down some more, cheddar, and bacon. When you're done, you'll see all the available recipes based on the ingredients you selected here on the right. Bachelor Studies is for those people looking to go to a college or university to help find bachelor's degree programs or some other type of degree program in a field they'd like to study. To find what's available and the location you'd like to get your degree, first enter in the field what you want to study or select the drop down arrow to the right and select it in the list. Let's go with Computer Science. Then enter the location you want to study. 
The site is international, so you can enter in just about any city with a college or university. For fun, let's go with Barcelona, Spain. Select it. After you've completed both fields, click on Search. You'll now get a list of what's available in the location you selected. For additional information on a particular program, select Read More. On this page, you'll get important information for the earliest start date, duration, study type, for example, campus or online, and the tuition fees. And below that, you'll get an introduction describing more about their degree and why you should choose them. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What website do you use that you think would be helpful to others? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the bell for more useful websites and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.